be the requirement of the task. Even when we have been given the same information to be working on, we all know that same some tests are much more difficult and require much more effort. For example, we know that it's easier to remember the main lines of a story than to recall the story word for word. Again, we know that it's easier to recognize recognition something that, uh, than to remember to recall it. Uh, therefore, multi-choice uh, exams are usually easier than writing, writing exams. Third one is information on strategies. For example, if, um, if someone asks us uh, what we can do if asked to memorize a phone number, without hesitating, we would answer that we are going to repeat that number a certain amount of time. This metacognitive knowledge is our uh, knowledge of memory strategies. Let's just ask uh, ourselves the following question. What kind of differences are there between cognitive strategies and metanormative strategies? The main function of cognitive strategies is to help to conclude successfully any cognitive interface. Uh, in contrast, the main uh, function of metanormative strategy is to provide information about our enterprise and cognitive uh, functioning. So, second one is metacognitive experience. A metacognitive experience is a cognitive process associated with cognitive or emotional life. Metacognitive experiences can be simple or complex, short or long. Metacognitive ex activities or our cognitive life is quite useful when uh, executing functions. For example, when you don't understand a part of a test, uh, test uh, if you are reading, you can read right back again or simply return on the part or reconsider what you know so far. So, metacognitive experience can be configured by metacognitive knowledge gained before. In contrast, metacognitive experiences may contribute to our metacognitive information. So, um, Paris um, and uh, Wino Grant stated that there are two uh, main aspects of metacognition. First is knowledge of, and self-control. And second one is knowledge and control of processes. First one, knowledge and self-control. is Knowledge and self-control includes attention, uh, attitude and commitment. Uh, so what about commitment? Intuitively, the majority of teachers think that if their students commit themselves to an academic subject, it will be a major determinant of their success. However, it's a, a, a volatilian uh, behavior and not something that cannot grasp. Anything arising from specific events, a person committed himself to achieve the fact that people are likely to be able to commit themselves to something lies on their own preference. B is attitude. Attitude that someone develops toward a subject are not closely related to himself. On the learning uh, of a certain topic, the value of the subject, that ability to achieve that and to, uh, to the extent uh, the value of the effort approaches this subject with an attitude. Uh, if the learner does not develop an effective learning environment, his learning attitude will be affected ne negatively. As a result, an important aspect of knowledge and self-control is to be aware of the attitude generated in against a particular issue and to ensure the development of this attitude that helps learning. Success, successful students always attribute their success to their own efforts. C is attention. Uh, so what about attention? As well as uh, in commitment, attention is generally considered as reaction, reaction to a stimulus. If something are interesting for a student, he or she will take care of them in his or her preschool education time, but will show less interest if there is nothing interesting. However, 
attention may also be audited by the student by st the students themselves. So uh, the learner may not even show the interest in um, in inter an interesting uh, situation. Self uh, self knowledge and uh, the third dimension. Uh, of information control is to adjust the level of attention and create attention when required. Second is knowledge and control of process. Knowledge and control of process includes two different parts. A is type of information. Information can be expressive, declarative, uh, uh, operational, procedural, and cognitive, um, contingent, uh, uh, conditional. Expressive information is factual and includes knowledge, the concept of uh, a given test. Procedural data refers to information about how we apply metacognitive strategies. The conditional information means to aware of whether a strategy is more appropriate and prefer using the one instead of another strategy to perform a desired task. Um, and the teacher who touches a specific and determines them to study the students is helping them to consolidate their control uh, over the metagonitive processes process. So B is behavior control. It consists of uh, behavior control, evaluation, planning, and organizing, rating. It includes deciding about the current state of development of a cognitive process, and it involves mental per perception. Did I fully understand what I've just read? Do I understand what uh, writing on this map and so on? Writing a course throughout a process and it also the start and the end point of a subject. Writing includes likewise the achievement of general objective and detailed objective and includes evaluation of whether the appro appropriate resources are available or not. So what about planning? It provides uh, the ability to select carefully the strategy for achievement, uh, the specific purpose. In general, st uh, students uh, should know about the process of putting a subject in a certain order and be able to select the most appropriate action at any given point. Edit. Um, it includes the changes in the preschool behaviors if necessary, and also the control of the development of general and sub-objective for the public. It means that uh, to attach importance to the control of thinking in the classroom and that students should take responsibility in class, school and pre-checking issue for their success in education. Thus, uh, the concept of teachers who discipline people appeared subs uh, substantially and clearly to provide better academic development of the student, they should develop their self-control and learn to keep life. Research studies carried out about metacognition. So the first studies uh, on metacognition were more descriptive works. In this study, attention was focusing on developmental characteristics and data about the memory process of the uh, memory in children. As descriptive researches shifting to experimental researches, empirical, um, research studies about information on the children's memory and memory processes and the number of the varieties that has quite increased in parallel to that. Uh, as a road indicator of the previous statement about that interest in, that, in the subject of metacognition from uh, 1979 to 1995. Mm, uh, 503 journal articles were written and 169 book chapters were uh, reserved to demonstrate um, the separation of issue uh, related to the issue of metacognition. So a sham uh, was required to classify the increasingly and more and more complex metacognition literature. So evaluate um, the work, several classifications, sham 
have uh, have been uh, used to analyze and group, although there are some differences between this classification. It shows three general cat uh, categories, cognitive monitoring, uh, cognitive regulation, cognitive monitoring and regulation, cognitive um, and uh, uh, and uh, we'll talk uh, now uh, about the cognitive uh, monitoring. The totally of researches, uh, studies, and ca carried out about people's knowledge and through, uh, through the thought processes of on which information uh, tracks their current status and how much they can observe a, um, a certain cons um, consistency are grouped on their category of cognitive monitoring. People's ability to follow their own information and information processes is an important issue. In education, the learning of self-control, self-regulation is said to have recently become a topic in which educators are more and more interested in. Uh, the key uh, to an effective self-control can be determined by the person himself in trying to be aware of uh, what is known and what is unknown. Know this and um, his ability of being um, consistent. If students uh, are aware of what kind of knowledge they have, this can lead to learn uh, to be aware of the status of the information of, or something unknown to them. Here is an experiment uh, conducted on uh, cognitive monitoring. So, uh, Hart made a trial about the feeling of knowledge, judgment. First, a series of questions consisting of general knowledge questions were asked to, to some university students. In this way, students gave uh, incorrect answers uh, to some questions. Then Hart, um, then Hart wants to check whether or not they could find uh, the right answer in a multiple choice question exam. Uh, in, exam in order to question their judgment. So uh, it will be checked in those students for constant uh, consistency between uh, judices uh, judici with the recognition performances. As a result, there were a high correlation between performances of the students, their awareness of results. The same research has been done on younger children as well. As a result of the feeling of knowledge, the result was found uh, to be less cons uh, consistent. According to a study conducted on con uh, cognitive imaging, a is even uh, kindergarten students can view the information they have in a, consist a consistent way. B is the amount of information people keep in, the mem in their memory is also increasing with age. C is the ra ratio to follow information in a consistent manner is also increasing uh, with age. D is if memory pictures a, dep a depiction is simple and does not overload working memory. So working memory, short-term memory, it was discovered as a very little differences between the preschool children and the elementary school children. Second is cognitive regulation. The second uh, regular category, which is the cognitive regulation, uh, expresses the fact that in order to cope with uh, changing environmental conditions, people recognize their thought process. The first studies on this subject um, is usually performed on children with mental uh, retardation and educable mental retardation. But recent studies are performed uh, on all children. Uh, in these studies, teaching strategies used in uh, different fields of both teaching strategies transfer our thought. Th uh, third one is cognitive viewing and addition. Cognitive viewing and addition refers to people that can view with their own knowledge and ideas to use this information in order to edit later memory process. Fourth one is to the research studies in education related to metacognition. Recently, it's um, observed that, that a focus of research in, in the field of education, metacognition, as a fourth category in education, is taking place. The concept of metacognition entered training education with little bit late, uh, delay uh, 
uh, no scientist's um, attention is focused on the theoretical field of laboratory application that are turned to the class. Uh, Burkos um, sta stating that metacognitive theory can help teachers who want to create the focus on both flexible and creative strategic learning in the classroom. So, uh, Paris and the Mino created. Uh, declared that students reading, writing, and uh, problem solving can improve their success by learning to be aware of their uh, own thinking. Teachers uh, could increase this awareness in students directly by informing them about effective problem solving strategies. They also uh, they also discussed that the cognitive and motivational characteristics of uh, cognitive thinking can be increased too. This leads to ask the following general questions about studies in the, in the field of education. Can metacognition, metacognitive process uh, facilitate, facilitate or not learning? The answer found to that research question so far is a yes, as they reply. So, the following research fields uh, were presented in examining, examining the effect of metacognition, verbal expression of cognitive process, general problem solving, science, math, writing, reading, dual language education, tasting, forecast, study, academic copy, rehabilitation, aging, and problem solving. So, metacognitive strategies. First, Merge the new information with previous ones. Second, selecting strategies of thought. Third one, planning the thought process, doing an evaluation of the monitoring and observation. Strategies to improve metacognitive behaviors. A is determining uh, what we know and what we do not know. So B is talking about one's thoughts and ideas. C is keeping. Uh, a diary of thoughts. Uh, D is planning a self-control in questioning the thought process and F is self-assessment. Assessment. G is building a metacognitive environment. So now um, uh, we'll talk about sci um, psychology quiz uh, first. Is um, you know, Which one of the following is not a psychology current? The second question uh, is which of the following approaches uh, is to know uh, to separate the various elements of the human mind awareness to consolidate and analyze the awareness items. So there are a lot of questions um, to answer it. So um, you can read it um, on the paper and uh, then uh, you can answer it. Um, so that uh, it should be very interesting to do that. So now I uh, will talk about uh, the other hand. So maybe we'll finish this uh, uh, kind of current psychology test. And uh, uh, thank you for the listening and goodbye students.